JAMA Network. The 23-state outbreak of contaminated injections hit the state of Michigan the hardest. The methylprednisolone was distributed from a compounding center in New England and used in injections for patients at 75 independent pain clinics nationwide. Construction worker J.R. Mazur received an injection with the contaminated drug last September and came to the fungal clinic at St. Joseph Mercy Hospital. You still having the numbness? The clinic was set up to help treat patients like him. I decided it was time to come to the clinic because I couldn't turn my neck or bend my neck down and had an excruciating headache. He was diagnosed with fungal meningitis. However, the clinic started noticing patients who had received the injections but didn't develop meningitis. We actually started seeing some patients that only presented with um, just infection at the injection site. Dr. Anurag Milani from St. Joseph's Hospital and co-authors performed MRIs on 172 patients who had not presented for care related to their contaminated injections. Based on these MRIs, 118 patients had no evidence of infection, 18 had equivocal results, neither normal nor clearly showing infection, and 36 had evidence of infection. Of the patients that had abnormal MRIs, uh, 35 of them actually met um, the, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention case definitions for probable or confirmed uh, fungal spinal or paraspinal um, infection uh, related to this outbreak. The study appears in JAMA. Journal of the American Medical Association. 24 required uh, surgery, and, and um, about 70% of the patients, or 25 of them, um, required a two-drug therapy. Researchers say each case is different and can present with or without increased symptoms. Over a third of these patients had no change in their chronic pain, but yet were found to have infection. On average, it took about 87 days to detect whether patients developed infections. This MRI on the left was initially normal. 19 days later, another MRI showed the same patient had an infection. And important to recognize that uh, we don't fully uh, yet understand what the, what the uh, incubation period is. JR may have to go back into the hospital but says he has a very supportive wife and is trying to stay positive. I hope to stay alive and I hope to keep the ability to walk. I'm hoping that we can cure this thing. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.